Okay, here we are in Southport. It's another uh, delivery in the 12 Trees of Christmas. KJ, stop pushing me around. Sorry, I'm, just, I'm trying to get in the shot for stop, Tony. Stop bullying me. Okay, uh, tell me the story about uh, this friend of yours uh, for the Christmas tree. Dave, he uh, lost his wife to leukemia um, last February or March. And How long was she dealing with that? Um, they found out in October, hmm. and then, um, yeah, like a few months, they got her. Oh yeah, she got, a, uh, she got a transplant bone marrow transplant and then things went took a turn for the worse so yeah and that's him right there him. Yeah. yeah come on yeah. up here yeah. dave he's like what? yeah <laughs> get a shot of Look dave what's hat. up Look at his hat. merry christmas, merry christmas. what's yeah. up dave yeah. we're from wzpl how are you good how are you tell me who the kids are back there i've got lydia and sarah back here hi lydia hi sarah what are you eating back here her lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Frightening. We're from the Smiley Morning Show. We've got a Christmas tree that uh, your friends nominated you to get a Christmas tree. And uh, we heard the story about your uh, your wife, and uh, we wanted to come and kind of make it extra special and, and surprise you. We were going to try to break into your house. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just a couple minutes late, that's all, you know. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> well, we'll meet you in your driveway. Very good. Okay, right, let's man. bring down the Christmas tree. Let's go. <laughs> He's like, what is going on here? <laughs> My husband has been good friends with Dave since grade school. He is a really great guy and is always making people laugh. He has helped our family in the past when we needed it, and I want to help him now. This will be Dave's first Christmas without his wife, Rachel. Rachel died earlier this year from leukemia. She also left behind two beautiful little girls, Sarah and Lydia. It has been a very difficult time for these little these girls, and this is their first Christmas without their mommy. My heart goes out to all of them, and I would love to give them a little bit of enjoyment this Christmas, and I think the girls would be very excited if someone brought them a real Christmas tree to their house. Or just be really frightened by the well, guy yeah. would be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you for your time and for allowing me to tell you about my special friend. I also want to say thank you for doing this every year. It is a great way to spread a little bit of cheer to help out families who have lost loved ones during the holiday season. All right on. That thank you. Nice. Merry Christmas, you guys. We'll leave you alone. We'll leave, leave the Christmas tree behind. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, wonderful, wonderful surprise. I hope now you'll have two Christmas trees in here, one real, one fakey. Yeah. And, uh, um, my house will smell good. 